are back here on Carolina Women at the Whip Salon. Our friend Catherine has joined us. WHI HHI has a wonderful new program that they're launching that you're going to be hosting. Talk to us a little bit about that, please. I we're excited. Glad, oh, I am excited too. We're, uh, with WHI, we're putting a new show together. It's called Converge. Converge is a, uh, is a show that's really featuring what's going on in our community with the economic developed part. Talk to me about that. What does that mean, economic development? Well, we have a whole presence here. We have John O'Toole, who's the executive director of the, the BCEDC. And they what are- What does that stand for? Beaufort Did County Economic Developed Corporation. Wow. Okay. okay. And what is their mission statement and goal? Well, their mission statement, I think the simple answer is they want to th uh, have a, a community that's thriving, but it takes a lot of parts to make a community that thrives. Uh -huh. It takes businesses, it mm -hmm. takes you know incoming businesses, it takes residents, it takes a, an economy, it takes education, it takes our government, you know, from our chamber of commerce to our town managers to everybody. So it's 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 a it's a, it's a puzzle. It's a sum of parts. So is it a everybody. sum of parts? Exactly. Is that, it's Beaufort County. Beaufort County. So right. I mean, let's say it, so it would include Hilton Head Chamber, Bluffton Chamber, Beaufort Chamber, all different. Port Royal. At Port Royal. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And it goes out towards Richland. I'm not exactly sure where that border goes. Yeah. So it's it's a it's a beautiful area. I mean, it's someone was just asking me, so what what is it about this area that brings businesses to come? Is it the taxes? You know, the tax savings and things. I'm like. Well, that could be part of it, but I actually think it's the quality of life that they have living here. You know, mm -hmm. one thing we, we, and one thing I'm talking with John for all those years, because I hosted 843 TV, and this one to back up for a second. And that's how y'all met, right? That's where we've met mm -hmm. for five years. We've been talking about all the things that they've been doing, and at some point in time, when we were finished getting off, you know, finished our interview in the show, I was like, "There's so much more to speak about. We need to talk about. Let our community be involved and have, you know, be transparent." And that's what he is. He's very much like that. And so we have talked to the mayors and to the government, and the educations. We've had the presence of college campuses on, on our show, which is just important because when new businesses come to our area, they need to hire people. They have to have a skill set. How do we facilitate that? We have Paris Island with the Marines that are being, you know, every they have a, mm -hmm. a graduation all the time. They can fuel that system as well, the employment system. Um, so there's such a, like you said, there's moving parts, it's multiple yes, parts, yes. It, but it, it has to move together in a harmony to make it work. Connectivity. What will the show, what will the show look like? You know, we are, um, what will the show look like? Well, it's similar to a like conversation. We, we think of ourselves as Kathy Hoda, so what's your vibe? Well, you know, I think our, you know, I think, you know, I love the Today Show with, um, yeah. With Jay, Jane Polly, I there think she's just super wonderful. I, I love that that show. But not, is it Sunday? Sunday morning? What is it called? Yeah, Sunday morning. CBS mm -hmm. or whatever it's yeah. So, uh, but I think it's a little bit more towards that angle versus such a lifestyle show. Sure. But we'll bring in um, people who have businesses. I mean, we build. There's the manufacturing facility here builds parts for aerospace dynamic yep. and the the, the Hubble Wild. and things like that to manufacturing. Um, uh, flooring and we uh, well, you have products. guests each each week then yes okay. it's gonna, the show is going to air once a month okay. and we will have guests similar okay. to a format that we're doing um and, and i'm just so proud to have the opportunity because i get to well meet the interesting people but see the connection and what they're doing for our community and mm -hmm. how it all works and then you know i'm a, you know, i'm like probably the most newest person living here on hilton Head island and i right. i walk around and i'm in awe of our community about how everybody works together and the harmony that we have. I mean, of course, there's always a rub, and we got a bridge issue, we got stuff going on. Uh -huh. But I think but that issue hasn't changed in 50 years. Okay, <laughs> I didn't know that, but right. You know. right. It's true. I mean, think about it, it yeah. hasn't. That's been the same issue they've had for 50 years. And now to be it's curious to see how they handle all these things. And that's sort of the cool part about what you're doing. Uh, you know, we're thriving. We're the number one you know, island in the country right now. Uh, people want to come here. And I, I'm delighted to know that, uh, from what I can tell, and all the people I have interviewed in the show for the last five years, with specifically with the EDC, there's an earnest amongst the team. I never have felt a faction. I never felt that it was separated or disjointed. It was more collaborative. It's collaborative, and I'm delighted to see that because our community is extraordinary. And we have to be smart about certain things in our economy. We have to be smart about green space. We have mm -hmm. to be smart about how we, we can thrive and grow and be financially stable and yet sort of 
give a quality of life. And John is very articulate. He's very good about mm -hmm. sharing that information. He has quite the path, but uh, I'm really excited for that. You both well, are great he, communicators. Exactly. Will he be on with you every? I didn't. Oh, will yeah. he be on with you every um, every month? Every month? I would think so. That sounds great. Unless so you'll he's out be of the country. This is a discovery <laughs> show. It is. And I, I love, I love it because it's driven by your own personal curiosity. It sure is. That's very well put. Yes. Yeah. Stay with us. We'll be right back here on Carolina Women.